vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Today on It's Vegan, I have Joy Montague with me, and she's <laughs> going to show us how to make homemade sauerkraut, which is a probiotic food. It's great for your gut. That's right. We eat it every morning, a tablespoon of it. Now, this is a finished product right here, and I'll, I'll tell you how we're going to go from here to there. This is ready to actually eat because it's been in here for six weeks. What's on top of it? It's a little gadget I got at the Mother Earth News Fair, and it's a thing that they would use for making wine, so the air pressure, like, the, it like kind of burps it. But how, how you know if this is done is when you kind of turn it upside down and come back, you hardly see any more bubbles coming up, and that's how you know. Because you should, like, shake it like just a little bit every couple days. So let's start cutting up some of this. Okay. Start with, I'm going to remove some of the outer leaves. That looks pretty good. Cut it in half. I don't want that part in my cabbage. Now I can easily get to my core and take that out. And I'm slicing it about a quarter of an inch wide. You can make it finer, but because of the way that I'm going to be eating it, I don't want it extremely fine. Now I'm going to cut up the purple cabbage. Pour out. That one just has a little bit of core. Next, I'm going to add some jalapeno. So I will be putting on gloves. So you can mix it up on this one. I put carrots in there. There's some hot pepper. You can even make a, what's that called? A kimchi kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can put anything in. I'm going to be taking the seeds out for most of them. I don't like my food very hot. But if you like hot, I would suggest you leave the seed in. And you can put a larger quantity of jalapeno peppers or other peppers that are hot. What I can do oh, this, I it's it. so simple. Now we're going to start mixing this, making sure that we're breaking up all of the cabbage pieces. Like that, you want broken up. Little piece, break it up. The amount of salt and other spices that you use would be an individual preference, but we started with about four and a half pounds of cabbage. You can just do it by taste. Now the salt is going to break down the cabbage. I'm using pink Himalaya, and it'll start bringing all of the juices out. So personal preference, how much salt you like on it. Right. And as you work it, you'll find pieces that are stuck together. And you're going to just break apart. That happened to be a little bit too much core, so I took it out. As you're working it, you can just feel some of the water coming out of the cabbage. It's a little bit too soon to taste it to see if you need more salt. Break it down a little bit more. I'm going to put in the peppercorns. Again, you really like the peppercorns. I think they're a little bit hot when I'm eating them, but they add great flavor. You could add more, and I like the caraway seeds. You can see, I'm kind of rubbing it between my hands to break up the cabbage, and also to get that liquid to start coming out of the cabbage. You're really working it pretty, pretty hard, and it smells wonderful. That jalapeno really, really, really has a great flavor and, and smell to this, a wonderful aroma. Cabbage is so good. Really pushing it down, working it, looking in the bottom of the bowl, none of the salt is down there, so it's getting mixed in with the cabbage. You'll see the quantity is already starting to go down. Well, you know what, I need a little bit more salt. Oh, okay. mm. This is what it looks like, and it's ready to put it in the jars. So it looks like there's a lot of juice in there, came out. I like the purple cabbage better. I know. And so then we're just going to pack this in here. And you really want to pack it in because you're going to get a lot in this jar, believe it or not. See, you, if you put the camera up close, you can see, see the, see the... Oh, yeah. It's really starting to ferment already. That's how quick it'll be. And these little jars, I would say, would take about two to three weeks and they'll be done. Two weeks. What I do, too, is just kind of push it down. Or if you have like a stick, kind of get the air out around it. You could also get into your canning equipment and get out your little tool for getting air bubbles out of your jars. Look at that. Yeah, you can see that starting already. That's already starting the fermenting. And so you can fill it pretty full? Oh, yeah, you want to fill it 
full. It's amazing how much you can get in this little jar. Yes, I'm surprised how much you have jammed in there. Oh, that's, that's, a nice, that's great. It's a great idea because you want to get that packed in so tight. See all that juice? We used the jar because no one remembered their tamper shown on the screen. All right, perfect. I'm going to wipe that off. Look how pretty that jar looks with all that in. That's just getting some of the air out of it. Press it down one more time, and we're gonna wipe off the rim of the jar. Then you take your little bubbler. This isn't dirty, it's just stained from all the times we've used it. <laughs> and you're gonna put it down on top of that. And but um, you wanna, like if you didn't have a top, see I lost that other top for this one. That's where I got that other one. You put that on, see how there's little tiny holes in there? Wee teeny tiny holes for the air. So if you put a piece of plastic wrap over it, just poke a couple little tiny holes in there. It'll be fine. And then you just put that on there like that. You're gonna put a little bit of water, not just a little bit, because it's gonna make its own. You don't have to, you know what I mean? It's gonna really juice that that juice will be coming right up the top. Oh. And there you go. So what do we do now? With now it? you're just gonna put it on the counter. You know, not in direct sunlight. Put it on the counter. I always write on the calendar what day I made it and I would check it in two weeks. And like I said, once maybe once every couple days, I would just kinda, you know, tip it over and come back and you'll see see all the bubble like let me see if I can get a close up of that. You'll see all the bubbles coming up on that. They're like, they'll kind of rise up. I mean, it's really not for many, for many yet, but it started a little. Did you see any bubbles? I can see them over I can here. see mm -hmm. some. Yeah, that's already starting the fermenting process right there. So, there you go. Now we're gonna try some that we made five weeks ago. We're gonna open it up and have a taste test. After you open it and taste it and like it, do you then transfer it to your fridge? Yes, and I put it in a bunch of different jars. Like I have a nice round glass with a lid, it's so it's just easy to get out. Yeah, you put them all in the fridge, and you know you give a bunch away, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh, I can't wait till you guys taste this to see if you like it. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna open the finished product. This was five weeks ago. This was made. So we're gonna pop that off. And you know I forgot to bring one to show you guys, and I'm glad it's on here. I bought these little gadgets and it actually keeps it pushed down. So these are really, really nice. I'll wash this one off and leave this for you and you can put it in that jar. Nice, Where I just got them get... online. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think on the Mother Earth News where I got the thing. It's, it's I love really their neat. stuff. Cool. Yeah. So, let's try it. With the little hands. <laughs> While Joy dishes out the sauerkraut, here are some options in fermenting. Here's a lid that you can use that you can set the date and the month on the top for when you start or for when you should start checking to see if it's finished. You can also get lids that just have this little nipple in the middle. Another option would be something you could get at a winemaking store, a bubbler like this. That's why it has the cork on the bottom of it. This is from my winemaking kit. If you would want to adapt this to ferment in a canning jar, you would need a plastic lid like this. We did lost the top off of this one, so we improvised and put on a plastic lid. If you didn't have the plastic adapter, you could also just take a metal lid that was used and poke a hole in it and fit your bubbler into that. We made this as an option instead of a weight to hold on our cabbage. This is the piece that Joy was showing you in the video. And this is a glass option for a weight as well. Now let's get back to that taste test and try some homemade sauerkraut. You like change color. Yeah, it's yours. See, I actually think that I didn't chop this one up as much as I did the other one. I, I like the one that we just made because it's chopped up a little better. See how big these pieces are? I was probably in a hurry. <laughs> there you yeah. go. See, there's a little hot pepper. There's one there. I feel like it really changes in flavor a lot. Did you taste it? I did. It kind of tastes like a different vegetable. <laughs> yeah, it does change. Well, it is sauerkraut. Mm. Mm. What do you think? I really like it. Mm -hmm. Not too hot. Not mm -mm. too sweet. That's why you only put a few bits of the hot pepper. I like the tartness, mm. the tangy. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you ate it just a couple tablespoons a day in the morning, mm -hmm. it helps that gut. Yeah. It's great for leaky gut syndrome. Mm. It helps everything. recipes if you look online you can put any kind of you know like different things in there so it's pretty cool different kind of cabbages did you put any purple in the cabbage in this one no i didn't have any at the time but yeah. it's got carrots in it but, yeah this one has carrots thanks for stopping by and joining us <laughs> we hope that you give this a try at home it's good for you and it's fun to make i like this i'm gonna do this at home this year i got some tiny cabbages growing in my garden good simple to do anybody can do it thanks